So this should be a nice, easy job. We've got a customer with dementia who is struggling to work. The new thermostat is a new boiler. I don't fit it. It's under a government grant. So he's struggling to work it. So this sister's asking me for a hive so she can control it with her phone from her house. First things first, we'll obviously shut the power off to it and test for dead. And then on the EPH, you've got a little Phillips screw just underneath there. Slacken that off and the cover will come off as it's just tried to. It's not been screwed in very well. Right, so what these have done is they brought power from the fuse spare and bridged it across. So they've left power here for the actual receiver and then took the live and neutral and obviously earth back to the boiler. So we'll have to do the same on the hive. So we'll disconnect them cables now. That's our switch from our boiler. We need them again for the hive, our switch wires. And we'll uh, mount the new bracket off this. And this is the hive receiver. We've got two screws at the bottom to slacken off. That's our old one off. And this is our new one. So we're gonna be using the neutral and live and one and three for our switching cables, which are black and gray on this. It doesn't matter which way around you go. I had to knock out the cable knockouts at the back so these two can drop down. But that is us all wired back up. So we drop the front cover on. But before doing anything else, I'm gonna get the hub. This is what makes it talk to your phone and plug it directly into the router and obviously a 240 plug socket. And if there's any updates that need to be done on that, they can start doing it before I can power this up, power this lot back up. The cables are quite self-explanatory. Our power one goes in there, and that connects in the router. The Ethernet one goes in there, and that's going to connect directly into the router, and that is going to go into a plug or a USB port. And this is the thermostat itself. There are four batteries, which are under there. So before you put your batteries in, let's power it back up. That's making an awful lot of noise. It needs some pressure in it. So you wait for a single flashing orange light on the hub downstairs. Once that's achieved, you turn the power onto the boiler. Single flashing orange light on this, and then you can put your batteries in. Now this should then turn on, search, and connect. And we get a green light on there, that's now purring up. So we put our back plate back on. It just literally clicks in at the top. Just like that. The boiler's still doing its air purge mode, so we'll have to wait for that. That's purely because we've had the power turned off to it, so it's like a safety device. Or a safety feature, it's not a device, it's a feature, damn. So let's wait for that. So that's the thermostat side of things done. Now we'll go and try and set it up with the customer's phone and connect it to the hub. Might not be able to show you much of that. And that is the app set up. Actually quite nice and easy. First time I've done a Hive app. Normally I just let the customer do it. But this one we set up for them and it was nice and easy. Boils up and running. Another job. Well done.